Ah, from this day on, my home is your home. Maybe he's looking to get hired on a ship. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name. Happiness will come today. They say if you should burn, he, yeah! he killed your Don't comrades you at the Nagel Pump Ball! <laughs> sure. A witch at the nobleman's ball. Who else was there? A couple of beggars? Oh. Leave me be, or I shall call my husband. No! Ah. Oh, the patrol's report. The court's gutted. Eyes plucked. No evidence. Stop it. It's spinning from all that yammery. Mutants, blasphemers, and kobolds. Hey. Now they've got Sick their new king. Perhaps the Skelligers will calm down. Greetings, Ivy. Greetings, Geralt. Listen.
so long. Eternal fire. Honor in the fatherland. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. Where'd you get the rope? <sighs> Long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. <laughs> it was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. 
If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Silver Laman. Don't know the sigil. Hasn't been used in ages, looks like. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look in it and scream? Jim Malboko's lesser key. Tomes about demons. Dusty as they come. Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock? Who the blazes? How do you get it? Get out. I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please, you know. Gaunter, old dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. <laughs> yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now?
Incorporating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I need not fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter Odim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Milfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times, Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims, and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts, which drive their parties to madness. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms Forget about him, or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. Geared to sign one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. Have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know his fortune soured? He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. All geared wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. Packed, signed in blood, and a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Oldim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world his betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No, no, no. Deduce, Witcher. 
Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable, but play with evil, and medicine can be much harder to find. Why was Old Geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Old Dim at his own game. Meaning? Old Dim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree. And can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tones. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That, I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. <laughs>
Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the Rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? I think... Think she loved you. Meant this as a token of that love. She loved me. After all that's passed. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What's happening? I feel as though... As though... The hot irons pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's... How do you feel, Von Emmerich? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pact states you can take it only once you fulfill three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. Boss, you cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all gears. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. What's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, 
elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. This place. <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. Monsters weren't part of the deal. My world, my rules. Cry and I weep, yawn and I... Hmm. Something that repeats all I do? Echo. No dice. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep. Smile, and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you? Is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me, time is running out. in the riddle. Repeat the riddle. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle. And ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause 
cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Crop mirror. So this is where you're hiding. <laughs> Come now. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? Yet I wait and wait and nothing. Doing that forever. Care to wager on it? Gotta be some mirror here you won't shatter. <laughs> <laughs> Seek and ye shall find. There was water here once. Maybe there's a way to bring it back. So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. <sighs> so, have at it. Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern, no care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through. In doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. <sighs> well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Not true. 
got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness and defeat. My life is a ruin. You've handled tougher situations. You'll figure this one out. Got a company of faithful comrades waiting. Got a home, your fortune. No. I cannot live as I did before. So what'll you do? I don't know. But one thing's clear. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Lived life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Can't accept this. You can, and must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too.